Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Marie here and Captain Kid. You guys are having an amazing day. Oh, my camera is off of it. Hold on. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. I am working on, I don't know, my setback, my set setup or whatnot. Uh, we're going to go with this. I felt like I have, so it's Studio 666 from the Foo Fighters. It's one of my favorite movies. The Foo Fighters are my favorite band. So this was always a just right above my head. So I figured I want to put it in my videos. I want to give it a purpose other than just being in my room, right? I want to show it off. We're a horror channel. This is a horror movie or it's a paranormal channel. And this is a horror, uh, this is a horror movie. So why not? Right? Two of my favorite things. <laughs> so today is day seven. Cause I believe it is June 7th of my June, 2024 video YouTube posting challenge. Uh, <laughs> this video is going to be, I just, I wanted to show off my paranormal books, like the books on ghost hunting and whatnot. Um, I don't have a lot, but I have a few. So this video is not going to be crazy long. The uh, first one that I have here, granted, I haven't read them all. I'm horrible at, at reading. Sometimes I have ADHD and it like, Ah, so I try to get through them like when I can, uh, but the first one is called uh, the Ghost Hunters Survival Guide. Guys, I know my lighting is dark. Um, I'm just trying to focus on the content and just trying to talk to you guys. Other than having this ring light in my face right now, it, my my phone is on the ring light, but I don't have the ring light on because. Right now, it's I'm, I'm filming in the morning, and it's super bright, and I just can't do it. So I'm gonna try to hopefully update that in um, in post. So oh, there's very wet, Mari. Maybe it'll give the whole spooky vibe. I don't know, um, but yeah. So this is by Michelle Bell Bellinger, the Ghost Hunters Survival Guide. The next one. Now these are gonna be from Montana because I'm based in Montana. I think these are, yeah, okay. So this one is Boudoirs to Brothels. The Intimate World of Wild West Women. And I thought this would be great because down in Butte, um, there is a brothel, an old brothel by the Dumas Brothers, um, or the Dumas family, I believe that's the correct name, that I want to um, investigate at some point. I know if you've seen uh, paranormal files or ghost adventures, you've seen that house or you've seen um, that brothel. So it's really cool. I've heard there's some activity there. I went there during uh, the Rona. I was just traveling around. We were, we were looking at different places we might want to live in Montana. And I loved the fact that we almost ended up in Butte because Butte just simply for the ghosts, simply for the spirits, because it was an old mining town. And so that's why the brothel did really well as well. Um, but there's a lot of sad, sad stories that came out of that brothel as well as many of the other ones. Right. So, uh, that one's that one. Um, so maybe here soon, take a trip over to Butte. Um, the next one is Ghost of the Last Best Place, which is another book on Montana. Mystery and murder in Montana. So there's a lot that have gone that's gone on here. And I've been to a few of these places just because I just live here. Um so yeah, so I'm hoping to put these on my list for paranormal investigations here soon. Which is great because what I do for a living, I do have to travel around. And so this just gives me another reason to go out to those locations and, uh, yeah, and travel. Okay. So the next one is ghost towns of Montana. Now I live just down the street. Well, not just down the street. I live a few miles away from Garnet ghost town, which is a pretty, it's pretty popular. You can go there in the summer. They also give you an option to stay there for like 
a week or two or the summer or whatnot um, to take care of the place, but you have to live there, right? I thought that would be kind of cool to, to do. Um, I don't know if my current, you know, lifestyle would allow me to do that, but I would definitely be up for investigating it. So keep that, keep that, uh, on your radar. See, it's just a bunch of different ghost towns. I keep running into this one in this last book, last best place. I just saw a photo of this one. It's the Bonanza. I think that's the same one. It might not be. But anyway, so this gives me my research to go out and do some ghost hunts, some paranormal investigations. Last but not least, we have Ghost Hunting for Dummies <laughs> by Zach Bagans. Now, he's gotten himself into some drama over the past few years, but that doesn't that doesn't put aside or put put aside the fact that he is a paranormal investigator. He I know that you know initially he started out um, very genuine, but when it comes to the shows and when it comes to getting the advertisements, things happen. Um, when you hit that level of success, it just, yeah, but he is still relevant, obviously in the paranormal world. Um, whether you love him or hate him, he's, he's a paranormal investigator. So So that is my collection of paranormal investigating books or ghost books. I have like horror style books, but that's not the same genre as what I'm talking about right now. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, stay spooky. And if you have any recommendations for paranormal books on ghost hunting, um, why not let me know, comment below and I will see you tomorrow. Hey!